only perhaps a negative point is it's a little bit too liquid. It should have been baked in the oven so the pepper is not raw. So the winner is. We are very excited. Not only the kids, all of us are very excited because uh, we just started in September and this is one major competition that we have taken part in. And so all of us, the entire family, the Amity family is super excited about it. Food Shala is a perfect platform which makes children confident, creative, communicative, self-reliant and self-confident. We made it to Food Shala Kids last year, but this year we're taking the trophy home. Watch out! Good luck, Radhi and Ashan! another league round of Lego Fuchella Kids presented by Omo and Lifeboy. I'm Amy and I'm your host for this season and we're here at the fabulous Bollywood Parks and Resorts where Team Amity Private School Sharjah and Team JSS are going to go head to head in the Fuchella Kids kitchen. Let the competition begin. Hi, my name is Ishan. Hi, my name is Rajmi. And we, we are, are Amity Private School Sharjah. Hi, I'm Nada. And I'm Ahmed. And, and we, we are, are from JSS Private, Private School. School. So the feeling of being in Food Shala Kids has really been great. First of all, that I meet such big celebrity chefs and especially Gaurav Tandon sir, who was a big dream for me. Last year, JSS PS reached the finale, but we couldn't get the trophy home. But this year, we'll make sure we get the trophy. Congratulations guys on making it through to the league round of Fuchala Kids. How are you all feeling? You excited? Yes. yes! So tell me, what have you got to say to your opposing teams? Why don't we start with JSS? Uh, when you guys go home, don't be sad. There's still a second chance for you guys, so... Ooh, That's okay. Nice. Relax, Some don't... serious talk there. <laughs> we would say a nice speech, yeah. but you also should you... be prepared. And don't feel sad don't later on. It. So you might think so. I'm sensing some real competition here. Are you guys yeah. really prepared and you're yes. going to bring it today? Yes. 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 We really Since we came to know about Food Shala Kids, we used to go to each other's house. We used to sit separately, no friends except for us both. And we used to think what we are going to cook. And sometimes we used to make a little mistake here and there. And there's no chance for mistake over here. I used to watch videos a lot of cooking such as Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver and Sanjeev Kapoor. And I have some of my grandma's recipes which I think nobody else in the world has and which can take us to the position where we want to be. Well, it's now crunch time, so let's see how you both do. Take your places behind your counter. I feel a good team is well coordinated. Uh, it has good time management. Uh, they should not fight a lot. And I feel like we have all of those characteristics. But before we start the cooking competition, I have a small advantage challenge for you. If you have a look underneath your tables, you will see a small box that our friends from Omo have brought for you. You can bring it and put it on top of the table. Now inside this box are a hundred stains on different pieces of cloth. All of these stains can be removed by Omo, but you have got to find the stain first. What you're going to have to do is search inside this box for the 30 seconds. The winners will get 75 minutes cooking time. The losers will get 70 minutes cooking time. The stain that you are going to be looking for is coal, black coal. Three, two, one, go! 
Once we heard about the Omo challenge, we were very excited and we really wanted the 75 minutes because so we can improve our dish and make sure we win. Is this okay? Congratulations! <laughs> JSS have 75 minutes oh, cooking yeah. time. Congratulations, guys. I'm afraid, Amity, you have only 70 minutes cooking time. Five minutes were very precious because I could have grind my masala in that much time. And I could have boiled my rice. It's time to meet your judge and mentor for the season, the general manager of Wafi restaurants. His favorite color is blue, like his eyes, it's Chef Mariano. <laughs> Good to see you again, Chef. Hello, Amy. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Good. I've got some new teams for you this week. Excellent. When I see Chef Mariano, I think he's very cute and I feel like pulling his cheeks. He's a really good person, kind-hearted, really nice to everyone. Teams, how are you today? Fine. Good. Ready? Yes, yes. Yes. All prepared? Yes, yes, Chef. Let me tell you the theme today. We need to go international. We need to cook four course meal from different cuisines, but one has to be a Mirati dish. Don't forget that, very important. Yes. Also, will be other two judges coming with me, and today will be judge. Taste, presentation, the toy that you've done with Lego, creativity, very important, and as well, teamwork. We're gonna start the challenge in, in five, five, four, four three, three. Two, one, go! Lego Fuchala Kids, presented by Lifeboy and Omo, in association with Alain Farms, Britannia, Tilda, Aquafresh, Red Tag, Rainbow, Bollywood Park, Media Partners, Radio 4, Eagle Eye Interiors. It's a K Company production. the challenge in, in three, three two, two one go, go! I feel 75 minutes is enough, good enough for preparing four course meal because we have been practicing a lot and at first it took more than 75 minutes but then once we started practicing it reached about 60 minutes to 55 minutes to actually finish all our uh, dishes. The 75 minutes for us was pretty challenging but also pretty easy because we were well coordinated. We looked at each other and made sure that we were doing it correctly. So our time was very cut to cut because we lost our 5 minutes which was a disadvantage for us. Thing one, your time starts now. Every dish has a story. So in my dish, first one, which is the cream cheese dumpling. In this, first I tried making gulab jamun when I got to know about the uh, food shala kits, but actually it didn't work out that well. Then I tried thinking of my own creative ideas and I innovated a new idea, which was just using cheeses and ghee to make this particular dish and it tastes way better than any dish in this world. Today I'm preparing a sweet which is batit and the story behind it is that my grandma used to make it and for competitions and all she's won first place so I'm pretty confident about the dish. Just break Hello. Okay. Hello. How are you? Good. What are you cooking? I'm cooking batit. Batid? Yeah. Have you put the flour already? Yeah. 
that time he was telling me that when you heat the flour make sure it's cooked properly because uh, but he told that when he saw me doing it I quickly did it so he was not sure if the rice uh, the wheat was cooked properly what are you cooking here uh, I'm making the white sauce for the uh, cotton blow white sauce made of uh, it's uh, butter I add butter with some uh, minced garlic mm -hmm. then I add um, flour to thicken it yeah then I add some milk and then I add parmesan cheese as well make sure the flour is cooked before you add the milk yes very yeah important. very important cordon bleu is uh, we have something similar in my hometown yes. that is called cachopo cachopo yeah, in Asturias so yes. it's very similar yeah well done keep working and nice to have the clean kitchen see you later hello boys hello how are you fine what is happening here uh, I'm, I'm making, making the prawns. The prawns? It is. I have marinated it with uh, turmeric, salt and lemon so that the smell is gone. Okay. And it needs to be hot in for like 5 minutes. Maximum? Maximum 10 minutes. No, it, 10 it minutes should, is too much. I meant that the prawns should be cooked for 10 minutes in sin. But he thought it's on a high flame whereas it was not. Don't yes, forget, sir. you had five minutes left yeah. and the other thing. Yes, sir. No problem. We'll still finish. So the time minutes. is going very fast. See you later. Bye, sir. They were too cool that we started to panic because they were. It was very slow and they did very calmly. Then we were wondering why they were so smoothly doing while we were rushing <laughs> through things. I want mango. I know. I want no. <laughs> no. Please. Try. This one. Cooking in the food shelter kitchen was very fun. We enjoyed and we also uh, sang and we also eat some of the food. Team 2, how are we doing yes, here? Good. Have you finished any of this yet? Oh, we finished the that sauce. That I can try. Yeah. The sauce. The sauce. As the white sauce, yes? Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, wow. I can't say anything. So the rainbow evaporated milk that we use in our white sauce made the white sauce very creamy and the texture very smooth. When he tasted the white sauce, he said, mmm, wow. So that was in a dilemma whether it was good or was it bad. Tim Guan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have not seen you talking to each other at all. Oh, okay. Remember, JSS, they went to the finale last year. Yes, sir, no problem. So we they did didn't win. So that's why they come this time to beat everybody. So we are also no less. Last year, Jason's private school made it in the finals, but this year we're taking the trophy home. So we'll do anything that comes in our way to win this competition. The last 30 seconds. So clean up the kitchen and make sure you give us a good presentation. Guys, last five seconds. Your time is going to be up in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Hands up. Stop. Hands up, everybody. You can now go and take a quick snack break for two minutes. Go and help yourself to some healthy juices and milk over there. And we will meet back here once you're all refreshed for judging. Lego Fuchala Kids, presented by Lifeboy and Omo, in association with Alain Farms, Britannia, Tilda, Aquafresh, Red Tag, Rainbow, Bollywood Park, Media Partners, Radio 4, Eagle Eye Interiors. It's a K Company production. Hello and welcome.
Welcome back to LEGO Fruitella Kids presented by Omo and Lifeboy. Our teams have finished preparing their dishes for tasting and now our two distinguished judges will be joining Chef Mariano. From the Palazzo Versace, the first Iranian Michelin star chef, Mansour Mamarian. And joining him is the general manager of the Palazzo Versace, Ms. Sandra Tikal. Let's give them a round of applause. I'm going to leave you with Chef for, uh, for your judging. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Teams, it's now time for judgment. Team one, please present your dishes. Team one, please uh, tell us uh, what you've done with the Lego, that I can see zero hunger, as well as uh, tell us the, the dishes, please. Okay, so uh, Lego is mostly a toy, so we wanted to convey a message to everyone around the world, and the message is that Lego is not only a toy, but it can be used also for in communication. The Lego piece which we are describing yeah. about is zero hunger. So this zero hunger is actually promoted by the UNICEF. The motto of the UNICEF in the UAE is that no child should sleep with an empty stomach. And now tell us the description of the dishes, please. So I have made shahi prawns. The starters which I have made, it is called uh, poivon farsi. It's a French dish and it means that uh, stuffed pepper. And the sweet dish which I have made, it is uh, cream cheese dup uh, dumplings. Chef Mansour, you want Great. to make the honors and start? I will start with the main course directly, yeah. The good thing is about this dish is you feel the main ingredient, the prawn, yeah? And your spices, they support the, the main ingredient re really good. But I would, you know, the only perhaps a negative point is it's a little bit too liquid. It's a little bit, it's not, it's not binded together. Otherwise, a great dish. Thank yeah. you, sir. So here I am having uh, you're having a mashavi lamb. It's an Emirati dish. Mm. Very nice. Very tender. Very, very nice. Thank For you. me personally, um, just on, I would like something with the rice. I tend to uh, you can squeeze over the top yeah. of it. Or, oh, very tender, nicely cooked. Thank you. I will try the stuffed peppers. More chili. <laughs> I tried the prawns before, and the, the prawns were excellent. The peppers, um, it should have been baked in the oven, so the pepper is not raw, and it will be balance all the flavors together. The sauce, I tried, it was really, really good, but uh, the chicken is a bit hard. Um, but overall, I think you've done a, a good job. I really like the Zero Hunger with the Lego. Yes. Thank you so much. I have to sir. say that's very important. And there, is a, there is a charity in the uh, US called World Central Kitchen that they're uh, helping this as well. So well done for that. Yep. Okay. We did not try the dessert. No. Yeah, the dessert yeah, is me. The most important. We tried the dessert, yes. Yeah. I, I, I'll try it. Taste the milk mm. powder mm. after yeah, the it is. Yeah. It's good, not too sweet. Mm. You can find the flavors of the mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Team two, it's now your turn to present your dishes to the judges.
Team two, I can see the flags of the four dishes that you created. Please take us through. Uh, we have created the flags representing each country from which cuisine uh, the dishes are from. As you see, we have a ship over there prepared out of Lego. Why we use this main this ship is because our motto is seafood, sea fusion. Now the journey begins from the Pacific Ocean, where we move towards the Australian coast. We pick up some salmons on the way and we get ripe mangoes and ripe avocados and make the smoked salmon and avocado cocktail. And then the journey continues towards the Indian Ocean where we get fresh prawns and we go to Thailand where we get some Thai spices and we make the tom yum soup. Then we move towards the Atlantic Ocean where we meet the French coast. Over there we experience a lot of French cuisines. One dish which intrigued us the most was the cordon bleu, which literally translates as the blue ribbon. And we continued our journey towards the Arabian Ocean where we went to the Emirates, the United Arab Emirates, where we got dates and we were able to make the batit, which is an Emirati sweet, which is also known as date candy. Well, that's impressive. What yeah, a story, huh? Amazing. The judge who I thought made me nervous was Chef Mariano because he always had a neutral face and uh, I really wanted to impress him with my salmon and usually his judgments are either very good or very bad. So I was scared and nervous. Chef, so well, so you want to start with yeah. cordon bleu maybe? I would or with the soup? So I start with the cordon bleu. The way you have done it is so tender, so crispy even with your panade, so great, well done. Really, I have to say, fantastic. So, Thank you, sir. Yeah. When, when I was making the cotton blur, the seasoning and the sauce was everything was perfect. Even the cook was very good. But once I cooked it, because the chicken breast was a little longer, I thought it's going to break and fall apart. But I carefully kept it uh, on a baking tray and put it in the oven. But thank God, after it came outside, it came perfectly. Chandra. I, I actually personally love clean, simple foods. Nice, fresh, clean ingredients um, combined together. Very nice. One. Thank you. I think I should try the salmon. <laughs> yes, chef. <laughs> yes, you have to. Very refreshing. Good combination. Uh, some crunchiness on the dish. It was time for the dessert. Amazing. Not too sweet, yeah? Very soft in itself. So you don't taste this flower. Normally, you, if it's not done well, you, you taste the flower, but you have a beautiful balance with cardamom, with dates. Of course, the flower has to be there. Amazing, a little bit ginger is there. So I love it. Great, well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. We have tried all your dishes. Now it's time for the judges to make the final verdict. After the judges ate my dessert, they all were pretty impressed with it. And I would love to thank my grandma for giving me this recipe. And I hope I made you proud. Team one, yeah, I have to say, first of all, you know, your idea of zero hunger was amazing. Looking at your dishes, I have to say the winner was, for me, the prawn, the shahi prawn, yeah? Team two, I'm a bit disappointed on one of the dishes. The salmon, you knew I love salmon. And I was expecting a raw salmon, maybe some Spanish dish. The cordon bleu was fantastic. There's no comments about it. Okay, so overall, well done. From my perspective, I just want to add that in both cases, I think your Lego representations were excellent. Uh, for different reasons completely, but both were very, very well thought out and deeply thought out. So, the winner is... Team JSS! I feel very excited to go to the quarterfinals. It's a very big opportunity to make it this far. We did a lot of teamwork and we put a lot of effort into it and it finally paid off. Team JSS, you are going through to the quarterfinals of <laughs> Fuchella Kids. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Keep watching LEGO Fuchella Kids, presented by Omo and Lifeboy.
it's our first time we have been on the show because so it's still fine and they have been before also it was because they had a little experience before we didn't have we didn't know also a lot of stuff which was going to happen but all around they are the winner and we are the loser but still we tried our best to win It's a K Company production.